come back home to close the regular season. What are your thoughts as Lake State comes to town? Well, obviously, we're trying to put last weekend behind us. It was a tough weekend for us. And so, you know, it's been eyes forward, you know. And so we didn't really dwell on it at all. We didn't even show video from Saturday's game. We gave, well, we skated about 70% of the team on Monday, gave uh, uh, targeted guys a day off that played a lot of minutes on the weekend. Because um, there's, again, we're, we, we got some bumps and bruises. But then Tuesday we got right after it and Wednesday, and now we're, we're in a good place. Um, you know, obviously we, we played Lake State not that long ago. We, we started, I think, the second half of the uh, conference schedule with them uh, at Lake State. We split their good series, uh, and, and I know they're playing well. I think their second half is, has been pretty darn good. So uh, looking forward to it. Glad to get back in competition. I, I don't think I can get here quick enough. With just one weekend left in the regular season, you're at home. There's still a chance to compete for home ice in the CCHA playoffs. Are you in a position where you're feeling really comfortable right now? Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, I, obviously, and again, I said I don't want to dwell on it much, but, you know, you can't help but want to exercise – uh, the two games at Northern we, uh, out of our system. Um, but, yeah, no, feel good about it. Um, interested to see where we're going to end up. We still could f finish anywhere, I believe, from fourth to uh, seventh. And, and um, I, I think we'll know a lot more come come uh, Saturday morning. But we, I, it won't, it, it'll go down to the last day, and that'll be interesting to see who we match up with and who we play in the first round. You've talked a lot about just every team in the CCHA being really good at Lake State. As you said, they've been playing better of late. Can you just talk about you know how they can come in here and compete really hard? Yeah, they've got a lot of dangerous forwards. They, they compete really hard. Um, they're getting good goaltending. They're well coached. Um, it, it'll be a good series. It really was. I thought the series up there, I thought Friday night we had the better of it. I thought Saturday night, you know, they definitely had the better of the game. So the, the two teams, it's like everybody. It's, you're so darn close. It comes down to... You know, discipline, goaltending, um, you know, hopefully you got good special teams. So it'll be tight. Um, they, you know, so I, I'm, we're looking forward to it. It's senior weekend, too, which is, is great. Uh, you know, we, we've got the uh, game on, on uh, Saturday. It's going to be a 5.07 start, um, beginning at about uh, 5 minutes to 5. So just, just before 5 o'clock, I'd like the crowd to get here early because we're going to honor the seniors. They'll do a lap around. Their families will be on the ice. The puck will drop. We'll play the game. Then after the game in the volleyball arena, we're going to have a senior recognition night there where Harrison's going to kind of MC and let the seniors get up, and it's open to the public, anyone that wants to come. The band's going to be there. We'll have the Bulldog head in there. Um, and it's just, you know, I, I, I foresee it being uh, like a half-hour event where the seniors can thank their parents and different people uh, at Ferris um, that they would like to thank, uh, as well as we would like to recognize our pep band uh, at this event and thank them for a, a great year, not only playing for us, but also playing for all the sports here. Those kids put in a lot of time, and I'd like to get, I would like to see them get some recognition. And their conductor, Dale, it's uh, after years and years of service, is going to be retiring, and so that that'll be something we'll highlight there as well. Uh, if you're going to have to go on the road for the CCHA playoffs, if you know home ice is un unattainable, how are you planning to approach that? God, I'm glad. I thought you were going to ask me. Is there a certain team we'd want to play? And I was like, no, I'm not going to answer that. No. Um, how we're going to pro? Well, what we'll start by doing on is on Sunday figuring out the logistics of getting to where we have to go. Like for instance, if we got to go to Bemidji, that's a long way, and there's a lot that goes into that. You know, you've got to, you know, we're going to probably be booking flights and you know hotels, and you know, all of a sudden you got. Uh, we probably leave like on Wednesday or Thursday, so you got like four days to figure out your travel plans. And it sounds crazy, but that's half the battle. You get getting a group of 32 people from here, uh, almost to Grand Forks, North Dakota, in in four days. Um, so that'll take up some time. And then obviously, it, it's you know if we if it were a Bemidji Bowling Green, all these teams we faced recently. So we've got all kinds of video on them. We've got. Um, you know, our scouting report. So it's a lot different than in the old days where video was always hard to come by and half the battle was trying to track down video for your upcoming opponent. Now everything, boom, you just get right off the internet. Um, so that, you know, we'll approach it that way. Um, we'll break the team down and, and, uh, and, and we'll, you know, pick up stakes and go. Do you think the idea of having to go on the road and play not at home kind of put some pressure on the seniors this year to not have a repeat of, uh, no, not really. Um, 
you know, I, I, we've had some pretty good experiences. I know we didn't want to go on the road last year, but uh, we could have easily won that series against Tech. As, as I look at our team, I, I, obviously we prefer to be at home if, if, uh, if we would, you know, wake up Sunday morning and we're, we're, we win two and we end up at home, that'd be great. But I don't know that we're fearful about going on the road. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe you would have a better idea. I, I, I would think our records, though, at home and away are pretty much identical. I don't know if there's a really a, a, a big difference. So I don't think that we'd be, you know, scared about doing it. I know I, I mentioned it this before. I'm not sure it was in here, but the hardest series, I think, to win is that first series. I really do. It's best of three. It's hard to beat a team twice, uh, regardless if it's at home or on the road. You get through that series, and then, you know, the four remaining teams, it's I, I, it's a jump ball. It's up for grabs. And Coach, let me just ask uh, one or two questions. Just talk about how important it's just this weekend to get one or hopefully two wins just to get into the uh, into the tournament, just to be on the high note and uh, go from there? That great question, and, and it is. It's important that we we have two good performances. You can't guarantee victories. It would be, you know, but a win will go a long way. Uh, in t terms of helping our confidence. Uh, but uh, more than that, too, uh, I would like it to be a strong team win. I would like to have to see two strong team games, win or lose, just two strong team games where we play well start to finish. Uh, and, and I think that will give us a lot of confidence as we, we move into the playoffs. And one quick thing, just as you were talking about the records are even on the road at home, well, lots of ways sometimes it seems like your better wins have been on the road. Do you feel comfortable? Or did the team thrive on playing that underdog role and uh, defying a little bit of the odds and going into the opposing teams and uh, take it to them? Yeah, I, I think you know, over the years I've, I've kind of been mystified at times why certain teams of ours have played better when we're on the road than at home. It's just you know one of those things, of why are we? Um, it, it's not every year. Certain years we, we, we have much better home record. But, you know, sometimes I do worry that when we are at home, you know, we're trying to not only win a game but put a show on. You know, we want to look good for the crowd. And, and we'll have turnovers as we try to make plays we shouldn't try to make. Instead of chipping pucks in, um, we turn them over at the blue line, and next thing you know, the other team has an odd man rush. So I think in those circumstances, you know, it, it, it plays against us. And when we go on a road, we're more concerned with just winning. And, um, you know, in, in the environments when it's been the loudest, Bowling Green, um, Minnesota State, it seems like we've played the best. And it's like, you know, us against the world, we circle the wagons and, and we just keep the hockey really simple. And it, for whatever reason, we've played better when, we, when we've been in those environments. Um, with that said, though, we'd still love to be, be at home. Great, thanks guys.